Stove Entec Render System Installation The Stove Entec System utilizes Stowe Air Seal, part of the Stowe Guard family of air and moisture barrier products. Stowe Air Seal is a fluid applied air and moisture barrier that can be applied by spray or roller to a variety of substrates to create a continuous, seamless, waterproof air and moisture barrier beneath the Stowe Ventec rain screen system. The Stowe Guard assembly is applied in two steps allowing time to cure in between. First, the air barrier components are applied to the substrate by treating the sheathing joints, rough openings, penetrations, and transitions using the variety of interchangeable Stowe Guard joint treatments. Then, Stowe Air Seal is applied either by spray or roller. Stowe Guard products are fully adhered to the substrate, creating a tough, seamless, and continuous air and moisture barrier. For further information, refer to the spec and product bulletin. Once the air and moisture barrier is installed, the Stowe Ventro sub construction can now be installed. Stowe Ventro Rain Screen Systems Sub Construction Installation. After installing Stowe Air Seal Air and Moisture Barrier, Stowe Ventro wall brackets and T profiles are then installed. Stainless steel wall brackets, aluminum brackets with thermal isolators, and other optional brackets are available. For this installation, we're using large stainless steel brackets attached to a steel stud framed wall. Brackets come in two sizes, the larger FP wall bracket and the smaller GP wall bracket. Using the elevation benchmark and project specific drawings, mark the installation locations of the wall brackets and vertical T profiles on the substrate and fasten the brackets to the substrate using project specific screws, verifying the brackets are plumb. Install a stow starter track at the base of the installation and fasten the starter tracks at a spacing of 12 inches on center. Place a dab of specified adhesive at locations pre-marked to receive impaling pins. Fasten impaling pins by pressing them into the wet adhesive and spreading the adhesive with a spatula. Once the sub-construction brackets are installed and the adhesive is fully cured, Slit the insulation at bracket locations using an insulation knife and install the insulation, securing it with insulation washers. Next, score the insulation at vertical T-profile locations. Trim the T-profiles to length using a chop saw and deburr the cut edges. Align the T-profiles to the reference line and fasten into the slots in the brackets. Using a spirit level or laser level, align the exterior axes. Fasten to the brackets using Stowe Ventro sub-construction screws per project-specific drawings. For fixed point fastening, use the circular holes. When sliding point fastening is required to allow for thermal movement, use the oblong holes in the large and small brackets. Leave a 10 millimeter gap in any joints in T-profiles. Install the first and last T-profiles on each facade plane and using a horizontal reference line, align the remaining profiles between. Once properly aligned, fasten all remaining profiles to brackets. Note that insulation can also be installed vertically. Maintain a 5 mm gap between the starter track and the T-profiles. Stoventec Render Installation after installation of air and moisture barrier, sub-construction, and insulation, Stowe Ventec carrier boards must be installed as a backer for the Stowe architectural finish. Prior to installation of Stowe Ventec carrier board A+, at ground level, balconies, patios, ceilings, and roof surfaces, a Stowe ventilation profile may be used to prevent pest and debris buildup within the ventilation cavity. Determine the size and layout of carrier boards from project-specific drawings. All boards must end and begin at Stowe Ventro T-Profile center lines. Position, level, and install the first carrier board. Fasten using Stowe Ventro render facade screws at each corner to hold in place. Mark a vertical reference line 
for the field fasteners at the center lines of the T-profiles on the face of the carrier board. Fasten the carrier board in the field and edges per the project specific drawings. Ensure that the screws are flush with the carrier board. Do not overdrive the screws. Install remaining boards with joints staggered and butted. Cut boards by scoring the front fabric side of the board with a knife. Break the board at the cut and cut the rear side mesh with a knife. Alternatively, boards may be cut using a circular saw with a carbide blade. Install edge protection profiles as required per the project specific drawings. At grade, provide a minimum 2 inches to carrier boards. For tight or difficult installation areas, stow edge protection profiles should be installed prior to fastening of the carrier board. Starting from the left side first, slide the profiles onto the carrier board. Miter any intersecting profiles, leaving the mesh portion unmitered. Continue this process pre-installing edge protection profiles and installing boards in these areas. At external corners, the last Stoventec carrier board is extended to meet the opposite wall plane. A vertical Stoventro L profile is then fastened to the back side of the board using Stow Render Facade screws. The L profiles must be plumb and set flush to the installed T profiles of the second facade surface. Complete the corner fastening the carrier board on the returning wall for the L profile. For installation at windows, the carrier boards must be scored and notched to fit an L shape. Install edge protection profiles per project specific drawings. At window sills, install edge protection profile and install metal flashing with a minimum 3 8 inch ventilation gap between the sill flashing and the edge protection profile. At window jams, measure the distance of the returning carrier board and cut. Install edge protection profiles and L profiles per project specific drawings. It may be necessary to peel back edge protection mesh to fasten screws into L profiles. Install returning carrier board fastening to adjoining carrier board at the L profile. At window heads, review project specific drawings. Start by measuring the distance of the returning carrier board. Make sure you count for the ventilation and then cut. Install edge protection profiles and L profiles per project specific drawings. Install returning carrier board fastening L profile as shown in the project specific drawings. The most common installation allows for a ventilation space of 3 8 inch to 13 16 inch. Install any remaining edge protection profiles on the front elevation. Peel back edge protection mesh and apply a continuous coat of stow base coat at the jam and sill and then embed mesh into stow base coat. Apply a coat of stow base coat at the jams and embed stow mesh corner beads. Apply a stow base coat and install mesh at the corners at a 45 degree angle. Apply a stow base coat to the edge protection profiles. At outside corners apply stow base coat and embed corner bead in stow base coat. Apply stow base coat and embed stow mesh. A variety of finishes are available for stow Ventec render including field stow architectural finishes, pre-manufactured echo shapes, thin veneers, or stone laid in adhesive. Apply the desired finish or veneer material as described in the product bulletin. At the top of the system, provide a minimum 3 8 inch ventilation joint between the parapet cap or ceiling and the carrier boards. Visit our website to learn more about the Stowe Ventec system.